Powdered sodium borohydride is added to a round bottom flask and suspended in DCE. Three molar equivalents of glacial acetic acid are added dropwise. It's a nice vapor. It's almost like meditative, just to watch the stirring reaction. It's great. <laughs> An initial protonolysis reaction produces borane, sodium acetate, and hydrogen gas. Borane accepts an electron pair from the acetate anion, forming sodium monoacetoxy borohydride. The reaction repeats itself with the two remaining equivalents of acetic acid yield sodium triacetoxy borohydride. Why are you using triacetoxy borohydride as opposed to sodium borohydride or sodium cyanoborohydride? Right, so the thing about triacetoxy is it's great for reducing imines, but it's not very good at reducing carbonyls. So uh, if it reacts with the formaldehyde, you're <laughs> you know. In a separate round bottom flask, tryptamine is dissolved in DCE with brief microwave irradiation, followed by two molar equivalents of triethylamine, three molar equivalents of the formaldehyde sodium bisulfite adduct, four molar equivalents of sodium triacetoxy borohydride, and a dash of four angstrom molecular sieves. Actually, I'm gonna give this a little bit to stir. Yeah. It's silvery, but it's silvery like that. It usually means it's good. <laughs> that's, that's how I know. After giving the reactants 10 minutes to condense, four molar equivalents of sodium triacetoxy borohydride are added dropwise. The reaction begins when triethylamine deprotonates the formaldehyde sodium bisulfite adduct, freeing the aldehyde to condense with tryptamine's basic nitrogen, forming an aluminium ion and eliminating water, which is sequestered by molecular sieves, preventing hydrolysis and driving the reaction forward in accordance with Le Chatelier's principle. The reductive amination begins when hydride attacks the electrophilic aluminium carbon and electrons flow into the ammonium cation, producing NMT and restoring nucleophilicity for the amine to attack the second formaldehyde carbonyl. An analogous reduction of the tertiary aluminium ion yields DMT. So this is reacted for the last... Yeah, for the last 12 hours or so. The reaction is done, but the DMT still has to be extracted from the reaction mixture using pH manipulations analogous to the ones that were used to isolate DMT from Mimosa hostilis and had it been present from the brains of animals. Half of chemistry is cleaning up the mess you make to get that crystal product. Yeah, it's good. Oh my gosh, it's like crystalline too. You can filter that. <laughs> wow. So that's instant precipitation of DMT free base. Exactly. I've never actually seen that happen. <laughs> that's beautiful. This is the only way I know how I can share it with other people is to pursue, you know, the kind of research I'm interested in. So this is essentially the end of it. It has been precipitated out as a fumarate salt in this ether acetone DCM mixture. But this is it. That's. DMT is just synthesized. So, yeah. Yeah.